Squat Senior here, and back on the M project. Finally, about time to start putting some pieces back in this block. Been pretty busy with the maple syrup here and stuff. Been uh, collecting lots, boiling it down, stuff that's so been keeping me busy. So anyway, got uh, things all cleaned up here. Got the main bearing camps ready to go. Got my Clevite main bearings, ten thousand silver. Torque wrench handy, manual. Guys, I can't stress, get a manual. They save you money, they don't cost. So, anyway, got the block over here. We got that tipped upside down, all ready to install. So, next project here, let's get these main bearings unwrapped and uh, make sure they're the size we need. Well, we'll get these opened up and see what we got. And be careful here, cutting into these things, you don't want to get in there and scratch bearing surfaces. Okay, center main and thrust. That's right, 10 over, 10 over. So we'll get them cleaned up and uh, start getting them in the caps and in the block and we'll get on with the project. Next up we'll start installing the bearings in the main bearing caps here. Number one and number three you all use the same bearing. It don't make any difference uh, where they go. The big thing is when you install these in the block everyone's got a hole. There's an oil hole in the block. You got to make sure you get that lined up in there. And it's usually uh, can only go in one way because you can see it's offset the center here. And you do have a little tang there that goes into a notch, keeps the bearings from spinning. So what I do, I'll put a little, just a light skim of oil on there. Find the notch in there, find the notch in your bearing. I like to line the notch up first. And snap it in position. Pretty easy, really. Next, we'll do the center main thrust. In the rear main. Okay, we're looking good there. Next up, we'll get the bearings installed in the block. As you can see, oil hole. You can see the oil holes here. Make sure you got that lined up. So, go to the rear. Make sure she's centered. Center main. front main last one oil holes all look good now you'll see I did put a skim of oil and a cast iron parts too I didn't oil the back of these a lot of guys say that affects your clearance when you do your clearance check I don't put it so it's running I'll just kind of smear it in with my finger I'll take a dry finger wipe it off so I got just a film in there what I will do is I'll make sure these surfaces here were the main bearing caps bottom out I'll make sure they're good and oil free just to uh, make sure they get clamped down where they're supposed to be so next up uh, I gotta go get some help and we'll see if we can get that camshaft or the, not camshaft but the crankshaft installed okay got my helper here we're about ready to set this in here I usually do this dry to check, check uh, my plastic gauge one thing you do is when you get that set in there, you do not turn it. You let her set there. Okay, 
that's just the dowels that stick out the back hitting the end of the uh, adapter for the engine stand right now there there she is looking good so far next up uh, we'll bolt down the main bearing caps put some plastic gauge in there first and uh, do our clearance checks okay torque specs on these are 100 foot pounds and I usually do these in two steps. I'll do them all at 50 pounds first. Listen for the click. That's your indicator. And then we'll adjust her up to 100 pounds. Right there. Then I'll go over one more time just to double check and verify. Okay, we'll whip them off of there and see what our clearances are. Get the inch side here. And say right there we're running about two thousand. What do you say? Just shy about two. Two, maybe just a little less than that. Yep. On that, we're looking like about three almost on the front one. I'll check the cap. Yeah, I'd say maybe a slight three. Okay, spec is 0 0.0011 to 0 0.0037, so we're in spec on all of them. I'm pretty well satisfied with that. So anyway, we'll get that crank out there. Start putting some assembly lube on her and get her put back in and torque down and see if she spins. Well, I'm satisfied with the uh, clearances, so do a final cleanup on here. Right now, what I'm doing is going through cleaning up the oil passages. The oil comes through the block into here. Through passages, also does your rod bearings. You got to make sure they're clean. I put a little breaking parts cleaner in a little pan there. I dip my wad in there, take my gun cleaning kit, and I'll just put it in there, push it through, and that's what you end up with. I'll do that till my patch comes out fairly clean. Still getting dirt. There's three passes. Okay, I'm gonna run a dry one through, see what I end up with. Still getting a little dirty, but uh, we are coming around. But yeah, it's uh, or actually I think we're looking pretty good. I can live with that one. Anyway, very important. Get them passages cleaned out. Okay, next up, get that crank set in. Everything's clean. Passages clean. Assembly lube and everything. We'll get her set in there and we'll start uh, torquing caps down and seeing how she spins. Check our end plate clearances and everything. So, looking good. Got 
don't know if this is necessary, but we'll give her a little pry sideways to make sure the thrust is lined up on both sides before we tighten down. Okay, nice free spin. We'll just go over, check torque one more time, and call that one good. Turns really nice. Next up we'll uh, do an end play check. Okay, dial indicator is all set up. First thing we have to do is zero it out. And we'll go back. Okay, we'll set our dial to zero. Then we'll push it ahead. Okay, looks like I get yeah, just I got a if I push a little two wiggles, but no push, it stays right at five. We'll just do it again. Go back, we're still zeroed. Go ahead. Five thousandths. Got four to eight thousandths is clearance recommended. Uh five thousandths, that's actually excellent in my book. We're gonna leave it right there and not even worry about her. Well, I just finished putting the lock wires on the main bearing cap bolts. Uh, what you do is when you install them wires, you gotta. There's usually a certain way you should do that. Uh, seeing how a bolt's loose and going counterclockwise, you'll see I have the wire wrapped around like this. So if this wants to loosen, it's going to be pulling. Same here. If this wants to loosen, you'll see how it's going to have to pull on that wire. Anyway, that's uh, the proper way to install them wires. That otherwise, you know, if this thing does come loose, that's going to prevent these bolts from falling out or loosening anymore. So, anyway, crankshaft's installed.